Good evening, everyone. Jose J. Garcia, real estate investor, coach, and mentor. So we got another Let's Do Deals, where we pitch the best off-market deals, mobile homes, on this call. Reminder, if you have a deal, and y'all can keep sending them to me. Absolutely send them to me. Most most aren't deals, but the initiative is definitely great. So keep sending them to me. You know, we give you feedback on that, and we are going to start taking some of those deals that some of these investors, and some are new investors, that's okay, but that you're sending me and what we're going to do is use them as educational purposes. Why is this not a good deal? You, you know, we give you a small little breakdown of this is wrong, the market's this, et cetera, but we want to use those as educational purposes. So we're going to bring a couple of those maybe starting next week on here. Pay attention to our social media, Reels, TikToks, uh, YouTube. You know, we post all this so that everybody gets a share of that. So, but that being said, Tonight, it's not coaching, it's a deal, so we're going to pitch a few deals and a couple announcements towards the end as well. Let me, so looking at the, uh, the deal sheet earlier, let's see, bear with me one second, share. Got more, more opportunities for you, so I want to talk about a community. Let me talk with, uh, let's talk about Warner Robins first. Uh, Central, was it Madison? Not, no, not Madison. Let's, it was Warner Robins. So Warner Robins, hot area, Central Georgia. The numbers are uh, great for rentals, rent to owns, lease options, you name it. So where is the one I'm looking for? Because I want to cover, here we go. I want to cover this one first, and then I want to move on to uh, other, other deals as well. Like I said, stay towards the end. I have a few announcements to talk about. So this one here, we went over slightly last week, I believe. It's a 3-2 single wide, 14 by 72. It is uh, down in Centerville, which is right beside Warner Robins. It's, you know, Warner Robins, Centerville, you know, all those areas of Byron, you know, it's all, all located centrally. But uh, very solid unit comes with a rather new uh, HVAC, you know, central heat and air. So that's a, that's a big golden plus. Now, this one does need to be moved. It can actually stay in the community. This community, unfortunately, the lot rent has gotten higher and higher, which the market numbers actually are keeping up with fairly decently. But I like my spread to be a little bit more than what the community is getting. So therefore, an, an example of that, you know, if I'm paying $300 worth of lot rent and the rental rates are $700, you know, that means we are netting $400 a month and paying $300 towards the lot rent. I'm okay with that. But when it's the other way around, you know, th then we're paying more than we're netting. And if it goes up again, you know, can we adjust it once more? So you kind of, you know, this is why you pay attention to the market numbers. If the market numbers check out, then it's a good deal, you know. The rest is just the, the mobile, home, which all mobile homes are alike somehow or another. So, but this one here, 14K, and we can do better better than that for investors. If you know of any community park owner or just the, any investor that may be interested, maybe has their own piece of land and buyer, bring them to us. You know, we do pay for referral. So some of you keep asking us, how can you start making money? Talk about this every week. Bring us deals, bring us buyers, bring us sellers, and you'll get paid for, you know, we'll call it pay for your time if you want. We can make whatever you want, but... That's uh, definitely a good unit. So, Byron, this one, if it's the one I'm thinking, this one's sold. So, GMH, you did not remove this one. This was picked up by an end buyer slash investor. So, that one is now gone. So, Albany, another hot area, Albany, Georgia. So, next to Cordell. Cordell is a hot demand as well. But Albany, Albany is good overall. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of potential. It should be doing a lot better just because of everything set up there. So, so many medical facilities there. So, you know, you got the military base as well. So it's like the potential is there. You know, we hope to see a lot more of that in uh, 2024, I think. But we'll leave that for another conversation. Let me get right into Warner Robins. So this one we pitched a couple last week and um, I visited the community, me, myself and I personally this morning. Because, you know, long story short, this was a community we were actually going, going to buy this park about a year ago the city officials at the time were basically they denied every request i mean one of those counties that you could not get a yes you know if you just put it out there it wasn't going to happen and what was going on is that the the community owner at the time kind of let the park go run down didn't take care of it you had some sewer issues you know without getting too much into that and um basically every time somebody moved out vacated the home he just let this sit there so that, that happened over and over. When we visited the community, there was a total of 15 mobile homes, but only two occupied. And, and if I remember correctly, it's I think they pay rent sometimes. Uh, sometimes they don't. You know, just kind of one of those things. Not managed. It was not managed. It, I mean, just 
one of those kind of communities. So we came in and tried to buy it, but of course, as part of the due diligence, is we, we're going to see what's going to be needed. And we add more mobile homes. Is a sewer and septic? Is a public water? You know, all these things we ask. And then what is it going to take? Because it is downtown on near Warner Robins. What is it going to take for us to rehab? What kind of permits, inspections, that sort of thing? We didn't get that far. I mean, it was basically the city telling us, you're not rehabbing the home. You, you can remove them off of there, maybe bring a new one, but nothing was secure. So we fought with the county, I mean, months. Didn't get anywhere. Didn't get anywhere. We moved on to other communities, other parks, obviously, turn our focus there, you know, onto something else, and we kind of left it alone. My understanding is that the city officials that were there at the time are now gone, and the new ones that are there are more laid back. We'll say that. We're more laid back, and they're saying, sure, no problem. Unfortunate, at this time now, the community park owner was removing one more home at a time. Damn, oh, damn, I mean, that's unfortunate. So, from 15 mobile homes, he went down to six mobile homes at this time. But it's okay, because now we have the, the county, the city saying, yes, you can rehab. Them. And yes, you can bring more mobile homes to infill and maximize. You cannot add any additional pads, which is fine. Right now, we have we have uh, six at the community. We can bring another seven in, too. So where does that open opportunities for all of you? Okay, I'll start with the vacant pads. Now, uh, if you have a mobile home, it's going to have to be smaller, no double wides because the, the pads are not big enough for that. So it has to be a single wide, preferably in a perfect world, 14 by 60. If you can do a little older models, maybe 12 by 60s, 12 by, you know, that's basically, I mean, that's what you're looking at here. You know, this is a one bedroom, one bath, and it's actually in terrific condition. I'm going to show you the pictures in a, in a second, but, uh, and it is available. But if you bring your mobile home, we can do one or two things. We can give you six, seven months. Yes, half a year, no lot rent to give you time to bring it in, set it up, rehab it, whatever you need to do. And if you're smart about it, you'll hurry up so that you have a few months with no lot rent. Yet you can go ahead and sell it and start making those profits. Or we can pay for the transportation, but the lot rent would start immediately. So, I mean, a give and take, if you will. But I mean, it's a win win all around. Where this is located, Airbnbs, absolutely. Extended stay rentals, absolutely. Section eight uh, depends on how you know. Main, I want to transition to that. You definitely don't want to have Airbnb on one side of the community, Section 8 on the other one. You know, I'm not getting into that, but it's, you know, you can't really have something like that. That tends to not work out very well, not for long, but the opportunities are there. So if you have any mobile homes that are vacant and, you know, if you are scrolling through Facebook, Marketplace, Craigslist, any of those sites, and you run up on any mobile home, send it to us. Send it to us and say, hey, Jay, check this one out. If uh, if my reps check it out and it's something they think or they don't get to it, they will forward me the emails and then I check it for myself directly. I will give you thorough feedback. And if it's a deal, however, we will close on it and we'll get you paid referral. You, you know, that just that varies. Depends on if it's a sale, if it's a buy, if it's a move, that sort of thing. So but you could know of somebody out there who has maybe two, three more homes that they need to move. There you go. We got open vacancy. Right. All right, let's move into these uh, mobile homes. Single wide. This is this is half wide. It's not a full single wide. <laughs> one bedroom, one bath. Okay, ARB hot market seventeen thousand. When you can get seventeen k for a one one, you know that's a good number. That's the, you know think about a three two. Well, it's just gonna be hard with a sixty. The sixty length. Uh, year make model will get you all those details. The rent the rate in this area, I will put around six fifty, give or take minimum. And again, this is on a one one. Let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. So here are the pictures. <clears throat> Not a whole lot of damage. I mean, when I saw this one, I was thinking, you know, again, it, this is what I want to see. No full gut job, electrical, roof, and plumbing. This is basically put it together, you know, touch it up, and put it back on the market. Let me go to <clears throat> all right. And we're asking four thousand for this one. Lot rent is only three hundred dollars, and it does include water. So, you know, if you come to this community and you buy more than one, um, we could potentially give you a month more lot rent. So, so it just depends. You know, there's there's a lot of opportunities here. We're trying to get this community to one hundred percent ASAP. But so that's our goal. 
There's another section to this community where we're hoping once we get all this done, we can develop it. You, you know, it's just things that we have planned out. If we can develop that other area to the same property, we would be looking at potentially 20 pads. So, so you see what we're trying to do on it. And, you, and we do this in chapters, a little bit at a time, but show, show the county, the city, this is what we're doing. We're legit, et cetera, and just kind of keep moving forward. So on this one, we got, I'm going to show you a couple more of these here. Same thing, same community. This is a little bit bigger, two bedroom, one bath, uh, 18K, I would say it's around 18.5, give or take, ARV. But again, okay, you're, you're seeing more of a minimal touch of cleanup. I'm not a fan of that yellow room. A um, little bit more of that green and you'd have a Zoom room, but yeah, just all the cabinets are there. You know, again, the ceilings, the roof, the electrical, plumbing, the major things are all on tax. So, you know, it's one of those things to keep in mind. Putting it together. Fix all these little issues. And look, I know I'm showing you all from screen to screen. So for those of you on Instagram, you know, join, uh, get the sheet, you know, get the sheet and definitely spend some time on that. And if not, watch the replay on this on tomorrow. So we reduce the homes that we do not have. Now, there is one unit out there that is occupied. I believe it's unit number seven or eight. If you are an investor and you want to invest in that one, that one would be one that uh, I don't know what damages, if any, the mobile home has. But you can't come in and buy an investment that has already somebody paying a uh, cash flow, we'll call it. Meaning that if you buy that mobile home, the tenant stays, okay? You can come in, maybe touch up the home a little bit, fix it up and raise the, the rent or convert it into a lease option maybe. Just, you know, just depend. You got options there as well. So keep that in mind also. But all these are on the same community. And then we got a couple that need to be moved. So I know we are working down in Moultrie, Tifton, Albany area. If you know of any communities in those areas as well, we do have inventory coming more and more. Next month, we should have a couple more homes out of Albany that can be moved. So if you know any, any uh, park owners there or investors, again, let us know on that and we see how we can connect. Let me see. I, I want to go over one more. I want to talk about this one right here. You know, if you're investing in these and, and you can't find a buyer, uh, all I'm going to say is, you're doing something wrong. Branding, marketing, advertising, something is off because you should be selling. The need for affordability housing is growing and growing and multiplying, okay? So what happens is if you have one of these mobile homes that's moving ready, ARVs ready to be lived in, there should be no reason why you can't rent it or sell it. Maybe start it out as a rental, six months, a, a year, and then convert it into a lease option. Makes more money that way. Anyway, sure, you got to play landlord, but you know, it's one of those things. Let me see, where is, I can't find these things tonight. What's going on? Dublin 12, perfect example. And we did this last month and last week. Okay, this one is not done yet. It, I, I would say 95%, 96% it was done. You can see definitely where the updates have come in and we can probably do breakdowns on this next week, kind of give you a better idea of, but this is about 95% done. It already has a buyer. A buyer came by, well, a, it, a, couple came by earlier today that reviewed the mobile home they saw it they loved it and they immediately put a down payment on it what does that mean you see the demand and the need for it now the mobile home is not even done that's how you want to be investing if you're waiting to the last minute until the mobile home is done then you're already behind i start advertising hey we will have a we will have a mobile home two bedroom one bath in this area the city this is what's available. If you are interested, send us a message, which is typically messages come in immediately of, hey, send me some pictures. What's the address? All you're doing is picking up a buyer's list. I want to have a buyer's list because when the product comes available, I know who to call. I got 20 people sitting there waiting. Now, will they all be buyers? Probably not, but all I need is one. So, so you see how this triggers and it gets easier. Deal number two, let's say you invest in the same community. Now you got deal number two happening, okay? You already have a list from the previous one, but you do it again and you do it again. And that's how you continually collect. So, you know, just it gets easier after number one because you start building a clientele and then people hear about you. Branding, marketing, and advertising. Here I go coaching. So that being said, let's talk about a couple of the announcements. All right. So uh, JV Opportunities. We sent an email, I want to say, couple of days ago that was on JVs, opportunities. You know, some of you investors do not want to invest in mobile homes yet. 
you're a little hesitant. There's reason behind it, but you're saying, I have no problem investing or or putting money up and being a hard or problem money lender if it's the right deal. Such a go-to, right? If it's the right deal. Hope so. It is a good deal. It's a great deal. Here's what we are offering at this time, okay? If you want to invest with us, it's what we're doing is a percentage of at a year's time. So 12 months. And we'll send you an email. I don't expect you to catch all this now. But basically, it's based on a 12 month. The minimum you can invest is 8,000. Okay. And you can roll it over after a year. But what you're going to get paid is every month for those for those 12 months with a payout at the end, kind of like a balloon, if you will. Um, if you want to wait until the end, you can also do that and get a one time payment. And then again, roll it over if you want. But what's good about this is that it's not just investing as a hard profit money lender, but we are backing it up also as an asset, which is typically the mobile home that we put on there. So the way we do it is if uh, John, John comes in and says, hey, I want to invest $8,000. Well, then this is the breakdown and what we're going to do, put all the documents and here is the actual mobile. Home. So, you know, worst case scenario, you know, obviously we want to pay all of our lenders and make sure that we're up to par, you know, building trust is not easy. So you definitely don't want to break that. But it's like, you know, worst case scenario, if it all went down the drain, there's a mobile home that sits on this specific property that can back up and pay the investors. OK, now I don't want the investors to get the mobile home. I want to keep the mobile home. I want them to get the money so that we can do it again and again. So that's an opportunity we have right now for anybody out there. And the reason behind it, we got a lot more crews going. If you're attending the shadow event, shadow me for a day this Saturday, you're going to see about four crews going in, in different individual mobile homes. So that's what we're going to be doing. This shadow event is definitely going to be the most busiest in a sense of how many contractors, how many park managers, how many park owners we're going to have there. We got some special guests that are stopping by as well. So it's definitely, I don't know how many more shadows we got. You know, I love them. I love connecting with people, but they are time consuming. And as my coach would say, it's actually costing me money. I spent eight hours out there teaching you, which I love it. But if I spent those eight hours selling, I triple, quadruple, and then some. But that's okay. This is the way we get back. This is how we build communities. This is how we grow and network. So love it. Until then, you know, we're going to keep on going. So there is two spots available for the shadow. That was We were sold out last night. We were sold out the night before. And it's because people are converting from, I can't make it in person. Something came up. I'm actually going to do it virtually. I'm okay with that. If you can't join in person, join us virtually. I don't know if we'll share the recording after you know, we're still debating on that. But uh, if we if, if you cannot attend, definitely, you know, join the, join the virtual. But what happens when those people transition from virtual to over to I'm sorry, from live to virtual, it opens seats up. So we had four seats earlier, two got taken up again, and now there's two available. So then there's a lot of people that wait till the last minute. But when I say it's sold out, it will be sold out. Mobile homes are small. You always think about safety. You saw some of those small little mobile homes, one bed, one bath. Can you imagine fit, fitting 30 people in there? It gets hot real quick and it's summertime only. So we're not going to do that. Floors are soft because we're not taking you beautiful, moving ready mobile homes. The goal is that we take you out there and we teach you. This is the worst of the worst. Why would we invest in something like this? It's a thorough breakdown. You know, from, from the morning time, 9 a.m. we start till 3 p.m. It is back to back to back. So that's what we got going on. Uh, that's going to do it tonight. I got another call I got to prep for. So thank you, Instagram, for joining me. We are recording on here, like I said, Wednesday morning, uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow. This call will be on there. You can watch the replay. If you do not get our emails or don't have our spreadsheet to the inventory uh, sheet, send us an email. The letter J at Garcia, M-H-U.com. We'll get you all the details. All right. Have a good night and thank you for watching.